Welcome back guys, this is Rob with Tech, bringing you another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Jellyfin on uh, your OMV server. So in, in this case, we're going to be doing the Docker Compose method. Um, like I said before, you, you can just go into Docker Hub and you can search for the image that you want. Uh, in this case, I like to use the Linux server. They're like well known, they have a lot of uh, other containers. Uh, and the good thing about this one is that if you look here, we already have the Docker Compose file. So you can just as easy as copying this and we just need to modify this to have our attributes that we need. Uh, so I'm going to jump back into our Jellyfin. In this case, I had already done another video installing Plex Media Server. So all the storage, like the shared folders, the, the data too was the one, the folder that I used on that. If you need help setting up those directories, please uh, check that video uh, where I show you how to create the, the file system and adding this data to folder and adding in there the, uh, the appropriate folders. And what I mean is like, uh, in this case, we're going to need a TV shows and a movies folder in data so we go back here we're gonna do create no, not on this one my bad it's the services compose files you can do create name we'll do jellyfin description you can do whatever you need to put on there uh, so i'm just gonna paste the code now i know in my case that my PUID is a thousand and my PG ID is 100. And if you don't know how to do get that, you can just run the ID command. So if you SSH into your server, you can SSH into your server and you can do the ID. And in the other video, I showed you that I created this app users. So if you do ID app users, which is the username that I have, you see I have a UID of a thousand and a GID of a hundred. You can also do like any other user that you have, like root. Uh, but in my case, I'm using app user, which is the 1000 for UID and uh, 100 for GID. Okay, now here we need to change this path. Because remember that the, the, the path before the colon to the left side, this is what you're going to use to link it to your, the folders that you have, your local storage. And then the anything after the colon, this is what the actual vmc's so i'm just going to go ahead and save it like this i'm not going to run it because it is not going to work because of because of this so so i'm going to go ahead and remove this optional ports because in my particular instance i'm not going to use them now if you want to know what's running on those ports you can just go back to the jellyfin uh, website uh, here on the container and you can go down and you should find the area where it has the parameters so here it is like so i'm removing this one if you need to set up the certificate you have port 7359 and port 1900 which are all optionals in my case i'm just going to go ahead and access it over the 8096 port so that's why i'm going to be removing this uh optional ports all right so i'm going to save it i'm also going to remove this uh optional one because i don't want that ip address there so it's a game in error because I already have another instance of Jellyfin. So I'm going to do Jellyfin 2. In your case, you're not going to have that. Yeah, so I also need to change the name up here. So the name on here and this one. You, you don't have to change it. If you have never installed it, you can just do the Jellyfin by itself. And it's going to work. You see how I already have it here running? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring that one down. So the one we're working on is a Jellyfin 2. I'm just going to save the changes. Now to set up, remember that this is not complete because Jellyfin 2. This is not complete because we're still missing the to correct the volumes. And in order to get these volumes, uh, remember that in, in, in storage, I have a shared folder and I'll be using data too. Right, so so that's uh the the folder that I'm sharing on the network. So if I go to services SMB and we do shares, you see I have have data and data too. But for this example, I'm gonna be using data too. So if we jump onto uh, the file explorer. 
And in order to access this, right, so it's backslash, backslash, and then you do the IP address for your OMV server. Uh, I'll do the data too. Now, I already have a movies and a TV folder. So I have a video in there, and I have the TV fo uh, folder, which is blank. Um, so this is a directory. Now, if you need to know how to set up this folder, just watch my other video for Plex, and you can just follow follow it up from the beginning to the five minute mark, where I go underlining how to do the mounting the file system, uh, creating the folders, and creating the share. Um, but since I already had all this set up, I just wanted it to be a quick and, and a quick video on how to set up the Jellyfin. So this is what I'm gonna be using now. In in order to to change the, the files on here, right? We need to get the absolute path. And in order to, to go get those, you're gonna to go to storage, shared folders, and then you can just copy it here. You see SRV, this is the one, the absolute path for data two. Uh, you can just click on this button right here, copy to clipboard, and that's gonna copy it to your clipboard. So now go back to services, compose, files, and then do edit anything too. Now you're going to change the front of this, right? So in this case, I'm going to change all of this. Remember that I have inside of that folder, I have the TV folder. And that's for TV shows. Now for movies, I'm just going to replace this first part. Because I have the data too, and I have the movies. Now, if you look at those files, uh, they match what I have uh, on the folder, so that's how it's leaking, right? So it's it's opening, it's uh, getting the absolute pass to data two folder, and then it's going into TV for TV shows, and then going into uh, data two movies for the movies. All right, now we just need to figure out on the config. Now there's a lot of ways of of doing it. The other way you can do, you can just throw this config folder into the into the data two share, but I like. It just depends on user preference. In my case, if we go back to, but well, let me save this. If we go back into storage shared folders, I have a, a just a config folder by itself. So that's what I'm gonna be using. So I'm just gonna do a, a copy to clipboard. I'm gonna go back to services, compose, file, Jellyfin 2, edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here which is going to be pointing to my configs folder now i'll do forward slash jellyfin all right and that that should be it so we should just be able to save it and run it i'll, I'll apply the changes so we'll go ahead and select jellyfin 2 and we click the up this should create the container we might need to do the, the initial setup for it. All right, so it just finished. So in order to access this container, you're going to go to a web browser and you're going to do the IP to your Open Media Vault server. My case is uh, this one right here. And I'm going to do, after the IP, do a colon and do 8096. And that's going to go ahead and open up your Jellyfin container. So I'm just going to do English. This one, it just created a username and password. I'm just going to do the one that I've been using. So here, add a media library. Now here, we're going to add the movies, display movies, and then folder. This is where you're going to assign it the slash, the forces data slash movies. Okay, and then you can do the English country, United States. Okay, now we're gonna hit, go ahead and add the the shows. This will be the data TV shows.
all right all right so we just set this up let's do next next i'm not gonna allow remote connections i'm just gonna access it locally on my network i'm just gonna do my username so let me go back and check uh, because I, I already have a video here, so something's not working. Oh, okay, so I see the problem. So whenever I change the screen, I didn't save it. So it's not showing the the correct path. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this path. And then I know it's minus data two forward slash TV. And I'll copy it again. All right, so that's what the, the folders weren't linking properly. So that's why it wasn't showing me the movies. So I'm going to click save. I'll apply the changes. So I'll bring down the container and then I'll go ahead and initialize it again. And let's see if uh, it gives us something. All right, so I finally got it to work. I had to go into uh, settings and then uh, dashboard. I did scan for all libraries. And I don't think you might, you need to do this uh, it's just that since I had the wrong path initially when I created the container, I run into that. It's just after I scan all libraries, you go back uh, home and you can see that my first movie has populated. So if we play it. Welcome back, guys. This is the video mode. Basically, the system. So that's one of my first videos that I created for the YouTube. So um, you can see it's working. I don't have anything on shows. Now, in order to add more movies on here all you have to do is go into uh on the windows machine right you access you access your omv server right back to backslash the ip address and you can see your network chairs in this case th this particular jellyfin install is pointing to data too you open that and you have movies and tv shows so if i go ahead and take uh, oh, let me go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll add the same file that I have on here. I'll just go ahead and copy. And I'll paste it on TV. Just so I can show you that it will populate on the TV. But anytime you want to add more movies on there, you can just go ahead and drag files into here. Because this is the actual directory that we're using on the Jellyfin. So go, going back. Go home. It's going to take a little while now to... To force the sync, right, you can just do the dashboard, scan for media, go home. Oh, let's see. It took a little while, but it finally showed up. So now we go home. We have this movie, which is the one I showed you, and TV shows. If you go to suggestions, it's showing up. Welcome back, guys. Um, I'm not sure why it's not populated on this screen. But it's under suggestions or it's under, you can also go to episodes. So I'm not sure how the, the shows work. Cause I only use it, the movie site. Uh, but there you have, that's how you install uh, Jellyfin on Docker Compose. Um, if you need to add more uh, folders, like uh, in this case, we can just have uh, movies and shows and you want to add more like music or any other folder you can go back to your open media vault and then go ahead and edit and here you're gonna have to add uh, an, another go ahead and this string right so in this case we just like copy this one uh and let's say we're gonna add music so i'll just paste it but here at the end i'm gonna do music now for this one i'm gonna do music as well all right, so that looks correct. I'll save it. Uh, let me apply the changes. So 
So going back to the folders, I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a folder called music. So that's what we add. we're going to add. I'm not going to add anything because I don't have any music files right now. Just showing you how to link it. So now you're going to go ahead and edit and here. So you already have this corrected, right? Uh, data to music. Okay, that looks correct. So let's go ahead and bring the container down. And then you just have to bring it back up. And this is just so we can sync the changes on the volumes. Now, if you go back to Jellyfin and here, you go to dashboard, and then you go to libraries. You can do add a media library. And here you're going to do the music. So you have music videos. I mean, it really depends on what you want to add, but we just created the music one. Folders, we're now going to see the four forward slash data for that music uh okay and you can change this and that's how you add it uh that'll be all for this video if you guys know have any other video ideas uh, please drop them down in the comments uh please leave a like subscribe if you want to see more of this content don't forget to hit the bell icon